How's it going everyone? This is my hello and welcome back to Undertale. In the last video, or the first video, we fell down into the underground, which is inhabited by monsters, such as that froggit over there, along with Flowey the Flower which tried to kill us, and Toriel who had been helping us out. Now we're on our own since she's doing errands, so let's explore the ruins since I'm bored of waiting for her. Shall we? Yay. Well, I don't see why I can't just go up here, but I was simple. Oh, hello Toriel, what's up? Hello, hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm. Good question. I prefer cinnamon. I like cinnamon. I'm sure that cinnamon is not the most popular because of that dumb cinnamon challenge on YouTube, but I'm a cinnamon person. Ooh, I see. Thank you very much. Alright, let's move on. Sh Hello? Uh, hi, Toriel. What's up? You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? Um, I don't really care too much for it, but... I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Uh, thank you for being patient, by the way. Uh, no problem. So, I guess butterscotch isn't the worst thing in the world. Three out of four grey rocks recommended push them. Okay, uh, that was weird. Uh, don't worry, that was a random battle. It had nothing to do with pushing the rock. So, like I said before, I'm doing a pacifist run. So, I want to spare monsters. So... The most typical way you can spare monsters is to act and, um, well, act and do the right actions so that you can spare monsters. Now, when you can spare monsters, spare will be in yellow, which means that sparing will end the battle, so that is nice. Okay, this here. So, I'd recommend you pay attention to this path down here since this kind of shows you how you can navigate the maze above. So do not step on the leaves. If there are leaves down here, then on the upper floor, you will fall down. Oh boy, another battle. Ooh, Wimson. Something new now. And that's, you, I can already spare it? Let's check it out, shall we? Ooh, that was five attack. Oh, it's too sensitive to fight. Oh, don't be sorry. Oh, it's not hurting me at all. Oh, but don't worry, it's okay. But, 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 oh no! <laughs> okay, so yeah, fights in this game can be pretty weird, and I already forgot which way I should go. Is it this way, and then... What's up with you? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? <laughs> okay, game, whatever you say. And Oh, I almost made it! Oh, I should have went down instead of... Okay. Well, I'm surprised I kind of remembered that thing. Um... Here, just go. So at some point I'm gonna be cutting out battles. Well, battles. Unquote, since... Like I said before, the focus of this playthrough is to spare everyone. So I'm not going to be killing everyone, but the random battles are random battles. So I will be making sure that unless there's something new, like this mold small, which is like a bun cake, then I will probably be... Oh, I can also... So here's the thing. If the name is in yellow, you can spare it right away. But um, I just want to check it out because here's the, here's the thing. You do not get experience points, but you can get gold. And if you... Even if you can spare it right off the bat, if you do some actions, then by the time you spare the monster, you can get some extra gold. Okay, stereotypical, curv curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Also, might as well just show off its attacks. So, like I said before in the previous video, this game is half um, bullet hell, half RPG. <laughs> That's nice. So, this was a little interesting for me because I never play bullet hell games at all. 
<laughs> so, in a, in essence, Undertale was my first um, experience with bullet hells. Yay, one gold. Was it worth it? So, hi. You're a talking rock. Then again, three out of four rocks recommend you push them. So, I suppose this only makes sense. So you're asking me to move over? Uh, yes, can you move to the switch? Pumpkin, oh, that's very nice. Um, I guess I can go onto the switch now. Yeah, like all the way to the switch. Wrong! Yes, onto the switch. You got it. There you go, champ. Alright. But for crying out loud, I want you to stay on the switch. Jeez, what a... What a diva. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Um, actually I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. There's a lot of talk about determination for some reason. Oh, it's squeaking. And here's the cheese. You can always just grab the cheese, there's no cats here to eat you. Oh. That's a problem. Well, mo let's move on. So, this game is half RPG, half bullet hell. And the bullet hell almost kind of help keep the battle stay fresh. Because, let's say, Pokemon or Earthbound is just enter in a command, wait a turn, enter in a command. Here it's enter in a command, and then dodge to make sure you stay alive. And then, act. So that can be pretty significant in future battles. Meanwhile, we have a ghost, I guess? That is sleeping with its eyes open? That is a bit creepy. Or it's not sleeping at all. <laughs> okay, that is definitely not sleeping then. Z -z 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 I don't want to move it with force, but I have to. Um, so... You'll be told this later on, but if you press X during dialogue, you can skip it to the end. So let's move it with force. Oh, hi. Napster Luke. Uh, pleased to meet you. Nice music. Um, let's check him out, shall we? Oh, you've actually had some pretty good stats. No sense of humor? Well, that's okay. I don't have a sense of humor either. Although you're crying, don't be sad. Just be glad. Oh, naps the blue. Don't feel that way. Here, it's okay. You know, it's always gonna be fine. Really not feeling not to it right now. Sorry. <laughs> Take your time. Don't worry about it, naps the blue. <laughs> yeah, let's just continue to cheer him up, shall we? Um, what did the chick? What did the skeleton tile's roof with? Shingles, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, let's dodge these. These are actually gonna hurt. Yeah, um, I would not want to threaten Naps the Bluke, and I think flirting would make him uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna keep on cheering him on. What do you want to show me? Whoa! So you're crying upwards and creating a hat out of tears. That's awesome. Dude, that hat suits you, that hat suits you very well. You have a terrific sense of fashion, Nappy. Or Blukey. Oh, I usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. Oh, don't worry about it, Na Blukey. I'll get out of your way. Uh, nice to see you. Bye. Well, that was nice. We didn't have to perform, you know, exercise violence or anything like that. Ooh, bake sale. For real spiders. And I have 5G. Hmm, what can I buy? Jeez, I don't have money. Jeez, I don't have money. Wow, I'm broke. I've been doing absolutely nothing in the battles to get me money. I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> Come eat food made by spiders, four spiders of spiders. Okay. So, let's talk to this frogget here. So, you can press F4 to play in full screen. Four frogs. So interesting. 
So... Wait, where's the other frog? Uh, hi. Um... What's up with you? Okay, I won't pick on him. So, looks I walker. Come on! I won't pick on you, don't worry about it. Okay, let's dodge. Ow, ow. God, I suck at... That's the other... That's the other... Other thing. I suck at bullet health. Smells like eye drops. Smells like teen spirit. <laughs> I'm just being nice, so... Don't worry. I said... I can spare you now, so... Yay! Five gold. So I think there was another frog in here that I could have talked to. I think this frog would have been the one that would have told you to not... That would have told you about skipping dialogue with X. So I think... That frog would have told you about that function, but since I already exercised using X to skip through dialogue, I think that frog isn't there anymore. That's why I think there's only two froggets here. Yep, I know about sparing and performing you know, a showing mercy. It's very helpful. So, yeah. That's the whole point of the pacifist run. You don't really want to fight anybody. Now, I s said before that I spare monsters when their name is yellow because that is when they don't want to fight me either. But what that means is that when the monster's name is in white, they still want to fight you. That there may come a time when you still need to spare the monster even if they want to fight you. Now... Oh, hi Toriel, what's up? Hello, I just realized that it has been a while since I last cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about, about here and there. Being a big so, this is about items and inventory space. Okay. Someday you might see something really like, you will want to leave room in your pockets for that. So, yeah, we have limited inventory space. I have four monster candies, so I'm pretty, doing pretty well for myself, all things considered. Um, let me see here. Here we go. If you... Hi, tiny frog. You're so cute. So, yeah. There can be up to four frogs here, including the tiny frog. Now... Oh. So, sometimes you can see combinations of monsters. And they will actually attack you with a combination of attacks. So, you know what? I'm actually going to... Well, let's check out this my gosp. Since we never really seen this before. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. This is getting a bit crazy. It's not too harmful, but... Alright, since we can spare Maldor... Come on! Oh, I see. <laughs> Look at him doing the wave. So, that's the thing about um, my gosp. It just wants to have some alone time. Swing your arms, baby. <laughs> I know how it feels. It's kind of like... I don't know, maybe it's because I'm an introvert, so I can relate, but... Sometimes you just want to be alone and just have some freedom to yourself. And then when you're by yourself, away from people who won't judge you, then you can just be like, yeah, dee da dee da dee da dee da and stuff like that. So, let's pay for some donut. You know, since let's support the spider bake sale. Let's be nice, shall we? Spider donut yields 12 HP. Ooh. I don't know what, this, I don't know what that sound was. Hmm. I actually want to buy another one, since, why not? Um, I can't afford the other one since I needed 18 H um, gil, or gold. But, I'll be fine with these two spider items. Okay, so, this room. There's this one switch. Oh, this isn't the room I was thinking of. So, we can't proceed unless we press a switch. So there's a switch in, the, in this room that will lower these spikes. I wonder if it's down in these halls here. Oh, perfect, it's down here. <laughs> I may or may not know this game well enough, but just because you found a switch doesn't mean you can't explore, right? Okay, I regret exploring. Hi, Vegetoid. What's up with you? Um, not monitored by the USDA. Very nice contemporary reference. Oh, God. Attack of the veggies, veggie ninja. So, here for my health. Sometimes the flavor text can be pretty helpful. 
What if I want dinner? Eat your greens! Okay, that is a clue. There we go. Alright, I ate the green, so... I got healed. Oh god, another battle? Okay, so that was a pretty easy battle, since all you need to do is spare the Maldorm and the Mygost. But I just wanted to heal, because if you die, you die, so I don't want to die. Oh, what is this? A faded ribbon. So, the interesting thing about this faded ribbon is that it's actually armor. So, that can be very nice to have, because, you know, now we have a better defense stat. See? And here's the thing about the pacifist run. Because we're not getting experience points, we're not going to be leveling up. So we're going to be stuck at level 1 with, or love 1, with 20 max HP. So if you want to survive, you need to boost your defense with any means possible. Oh hey Nappy, what's up? Or Blukey. I fell down the hole, now I can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. Great. But N Blukey... Yeah, you're a ghost. Can't you just spectrally just ooh away? Like that? Because there's a Vegetoid down there, I don't want to deal with the Vegetoid, so... Okay, so here's the room I was thinking of earlier. The far door is not an exit. It simply, mark, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. So, I want to draw the configuration of these three switches for myself here. Um, let's see here. I'm just writing things down with a pen because this is something I don't memorize myself. Alright, so you have, as I was saying before I got interrupted by Vegetoid, you have the blue switch on the left, the green switch above, and the red switch down below, and they form a triangle. So let's keep that in mind. Now, what's interesting is that now, the room has rotated. 90 degrees to, I think, the right. Yes, 90 degrees to the right. That, now keep that in mind, because I want to press the blue switch, which we can't see because it is hidden behind this. As I was saying, I want to press this blue switch, which is behind this column. So, here's the thing. With each room, the switches or... So, this will be on the screen, but whenever you go into a room, expect an additional 90 degree rotation that is clockwise. Additional 90, you know, clockwise 90 degree rotation. So now you want to press the red switch, which is pretty easy this time around since we can actually see all switches. If you press the wrong switch, you'll be sent back to um, the first room with these three switches, so it's a little annoying. Alright, so... Now, let's go into the next room, where things will rotate once again. Probably for the last time, considering that there's only so many times you can rotate something 90 degrees before you get the same thing. So now we want to press the green switch, which is... Okay, so it's gonna be behind this left column here. So, yes, I actually drew the switches and the columns with on my notepad in real life and rotated it. It helps me keep track. I drew something for you guys so you can keep track for yourself so hope you like that but now we have a choice between going up and down and right let's go right first hello froggit what's up what do you have to say just between you and me I saw Tori will come out of here just a oh interesting groceries she did buy flour why she seems very nice like, she seems very friendly. Why were you so afraid to talk to her? That was a bit weird. Ooh, this is an interesting view. So, this place is called the Ruins, but... I wonder if those are the actual ruins or more of the ruins. Toy Knife. Hmm. So, the Toy Knife increases your attack. The thing is, I don't want to attack. Attacking is not in my soul. So I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna put the toy knife on. It just does not appeal to me at all. So let's go up and look at this tree over here. Oh hi Toriel. Oh you're here. Well, <laughs> I finally found you then. 
Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hi, Mom. Uh, I'm here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? I'm fine, I just ate one monster candy. There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Oh, that's what you tried to do? That's why you were gone? To surprise me? Uh, I mean, I was fine. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. What do you have for me? What is this place? Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Home. What is inside? What is the surprise Toriel has for us? What is this home? And what was the deal with those ruins in the background? Are these questions relevant or are they just cliffhanger fodder? Find out next video. <laughs> this is the dumbest cliffhanger ever. See ya.